Hey everyone, and welcome to Groove Builders, the show where we create together. I'm your host, Disorderly Cone, and in this episode, we're going to be adding the Hall of Supreme Harmony from Peace Cool to our collection. And this build comes to us from our friends over at Crazy Toys. And if you haven't checked out their website yet, you definitely should. They got all kinds of really cool builds on there, some of them kind of hard to find, with fast shipping and great prices. If you're looking for today's build, look no further than the description down below for a link directly to their website. Now Groove Builders, the Hall of Supreme Harmony is a build that I've been wanting to do for a long time. It has really awesome looking detail on it and the coloring looks fantastic. Let's not waste any more time and get right down to the build. Groovers, welcome to the workbench. We have our Hall of Supreme Harmony here in some pretty awesome Peace Cool packaging. And just take a moment here to take a look at this building. With all of its detail and color, I think this build is going to be very unique. And with its 5 out of 7 star rating, this might be the most difficult architectural build that we've done here on the show so far. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back. On the back, we get a brief look at our metal as well as a look at our completed build. Then just below that, we have some information on how to build our model, but more on that a little bit later. At the lower left hand corner here, we have a QR code which we can scan to get a whole bunch of information about Peace Cool and this build from WeChat. Groovers, let's go ahead and open up our package. Oh wow, look at that. We have our metal all nice and wrapped up here. Look at that back too, very cool. And we have our instructions. It looks like two sheets. All right, Groovers, let's unwrap all of our metal and get building. And just like that, we have all of our pieces needed for our first couple of steps. Now, one thing I realized while looking at our instructions is that we have a lot of repetitious detail, which can be pretty boring to watch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do everything once and then fast forward all that repetition so you're not bored at home. Now, the first thing we're doing is forming our first staircase, and there's quite a bit of them here. And the most important thing to do here is to make sure that you orientate this to the instructions, making sure that the three flaps here are at the top and the two are on the bottom. Now looking at your instructions, you wanna make sure that you're bending all of your metal the proper way. Just like that, boom. Now I can move my next set here. And again, working opposite, boom. It is a little bit awkward at first to get this down, but once you do, you have pretty much perfect staircases every single time you go to form them. And that is our first staircase formed. Now we gotta put the rails on either side which are secured with a bend. Make sure that we're not twisting these tab screwers, they will stand out. One thing I like to do is to make sure that all of my tabs are bent the same way this makes for a really nice finish. So when you're bending all of these staircases, just keep that in mind as you go. All right, that's our first staircase, all complete, looking really nice and shiny. One more key thing to keep in mind is to make sure all that gold here is on the outside. You want the gold on the outside, not on the inside. Okay, now let's move on to our next step here, which is forming the rest of our staircases. Okay, and that is our last stair. Awesome, now we can move on to forming this base, which is pretty simple. It just involves us actually forming all of our tabs here along the sides down. We're gonna do that right here, right now with these on the right first. Again, we're gonna take these tabs and I'm gonna try to bend both at the same time, getting as close as I possibly can to that edge without grabbing it, and then down. There we go. Same thing with the other side. You don't want any lip here, so as close as you possibly can, as close as you can, just like that, and down again. Excellent. Insert our sides. 
And then once we get our sides in here, we want to make sure that they are very, very tightly together. So we're going to bend over and then we're going to press just like that. Bend over, press. Excellent. Again, you want a really tight fit here. So if you have some uh, needle nose pliers, that might be a good thing too, just to make sure that they are really secured. Making sure all of our corners are nice and secure. I think we're pretty good. Now we can add that front bit of detail here. Put these off to the side. There we go. And now these, what I like to do is line up our detail first and then bend everything down. But you can already see where the little lines are right there and right there. So just line that up. And I'm gonna go ahead and just press that in. Okay, because we got this one side down, I'm gonna go ahead and secure these sides that I already have. Again, that's with a bend and then a press, just like that. go through make sure all of our tabs are really nice and secure here and now we can go ahead and start putting some of our staircases that we assembled earlier on and there's a good reason why I kept these separate because they are a B and C now the first thing we're doing is taking our a staircases here and inserting them along the sides and securing these with a good twist Our first staircase there all done. Very nice, very nice indeed. Now we have more staircases here along the sides, of course. We gotta keep placing them. And there we go, our last little twist and we have all of our staircases on our first platform. Now we have three of these to do, so I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward all of this footage so you don't get bored at home. Okay, and our last staircase. There we go. Now we have all three tiers. It's just a matter of stacking them and putting all the tabs in their right place. Oh, now that we got these all in their insertion holes, we're gonna go ahead and secure all of these down, just like we did with the last couple of tabs. We really do wanna keep everything as uniform as possible with this build, just because it's so detailed. You don't want any of these tabs to really stand out. That's our first side done there. Looking pretty snazzy. Let's do the other side. Secure all these tabs exactly the same way we did on the other side. Again, I want to keep this as uniform as possible the whole way through. Okay, there we go. We have our base fully complete. Now I think we get to start on our center home. Let's get our pieces.
and there we go all of our pieces needed for the next few steps now i know i said we were done with this part here but actually we're not we have to get piece 32 here done first and that of course is on the bottom of the stairs now this piece if we're lucky should slide carefully into here but of course you want to make sure that it's actually properly orientated before you try putting it together there we go now part 33 here goes down the center staircase but we need to bend it properly first you know they have gold on the one side you might want to bend them up I'm going to use these detailed tweezers to help me with this duty. I know to you out there, this may not look super difficult at the moment. But believe me when I say that I'm really worried about breaking the pieces with the amount of pressure that I'm having to use in order to keep all these pieces together while I bend these two tabs over. That is a really difficult step and uh, I'm having to use a lot of tools to try to get this to work right. There we go. There we go. Okay. Woo, we did it. Groovers, we did it. I am so happy that we got that secured. Wow. All right, now our staircase and base are finished. I'm gonna have to tidy this up to make it all square though still, but we'll do that at the very end. Let's continue on and start building this little hut over here. Now we need part 34 and we gotta bend all the sides down which is pretty easy to do. We want to grab as much of the area as possible though so we don't warp it. I'm using the inside of my tweezers to do that and I still got a little bit of warping. I was hoping to really minimize that. I think I'm doing a good job. There we go. Now we need this guy right here, and we're gonna be forming these doors. And we're gonna do that with our detailed tweezers over here. Not too much, not all the way, just enough to make them look open. Maybe even open this door too much here. There we go, I like that. Looks pretty good to me. Okay, now we need to install this onto our front. And it's very important that we twist these tabs for a good connection. Now we gotta add all the detail on, and this is gonna be a little bit more complicated. We're gonna need more tools. Well, well, I'll come back for that. There we go, our small little shaping tool. This thing is very handy for shaping all of our small parts here, and I think with all the pillars that we're about to do, this is gonna be our man. Now we're gonna be using this here to form all of these part 37s here into nice pillar shapes and then connect them to part 36. This might be a little bit tricky. I'm only gonna show you guys how I do one of them and then after I have them all formed, we're gonna connect them together. Look at the detail on this part really quickly. Isn't that nice? Okay, now let's completely destroy it. Now the way I'm gonna do this is take my shaping tool here and my pliers and I'm gonna use them together to get the shape that I want. This is tricky and I do run the risk of scratching the paint off using these. Be very careful if you're doing this method here. What I'm gonna do first is just suggest to the metal where I want it to bend. And I'm gonna go to the other side and do the same thing. Here we go, three, two, one, and oh, we committed to that one. We committed hard. That top bit does not look good at all right now, does it? Nope. That right there does not look good. I'm sorry, that does not look good. Let's go ahead and form the rest of this out. I'm gonna come right up to the camera so you can see how I do this. Literally gonna grab both sides and just squeeze. Arrgh. And I go all the way down the part, being very careful not to drag any of my pliers along the metal. You don't wanna scratch that metal off. And if you see any warping, just try to work it out. All right, now I do like this. We're getting a pretty good shape. I'm gonna go down to a smaller size here and see if I can get just a little bit better of a cylinder here. Okay, there we go. 
that is our first pillar shaped. Now I'm gonna do a couple more of these, but I'm not gonna show you all that because that's pretty boring. So I'm gonna cut to the very last one that I'm doing. There we go. All right, well, that's our last pillar all finished up. Now we can secure everything here to part 36, which might be a little bit tricky because of how we had to form all of those pillars. Now let's get our little securement tool here, get our first pillar and see how this goes. This is just such a pretty metal too. Like just take a look at that detail. Very, very, very nice. All right, now let's ruin it up with some scratching as we try to put this together. There we go. Now we're gonna secure these tabs with a twist. So one twist there, and we do the opposite with the other side. And there we go. Our first pillar secured. Very cool. Now, let's go ahead and skip to that last pillar. Okay, there we go. They are all secured. I'm very interested to see how well this is gonna go into place too, because now we are securing it to this lower level, right in front of those doors we just installed too. Okay, so I think it's best if we all just take a deep breath and now do it. This is a lot of suggesting to try to get this in properly. I'm gonna to try to do it from a different angle so you can see it here. Actually, you know what? Let me bring it up right here so you can see what I'm doing. I'm basically just putting a whole bunch of pressure on this top piece and then pushing each one of these tabs into their spot. Okay, that is our last little pillar and that looks pretty good but we need to work on the side detail now and that means we're going to be forming some pretty small detail that is part 41 right here now these little bits of detail get formed over our small little tool here again try to line it up as straight as you possibly can and then bend those edges over like we did earlier that's our first piece all nice and formed now we got to do quite a bit of these for our next few steps. So I'm gonna go ahead and form all of these so they're already done. But don't worry, I'm not gonna bore you with that. So let's go ahead and skip to the last one. And finally, our last little bit of detail here. These guys are just really repetitious. Easy, but repetitious. Excellent, our detail there is all nice and formed. Now we gotta connect all these pieces to parts 40, and we gotta do two of them which might be a little bit complicated because of how these parts are actually done. Look how nice that looks, very pretty. And we're gonna grab these little pieces that we just formed and try to insert them in their holes. Again, Groovers, it's very important that you put them into the right holes too. There we go. And just like that, we finished up with part number 40 and all that little add-on detail. Now, one thing that's very important that I forgot to mention is you wanna make sure all of these, let me see if I can get focused there, all these gold bands are along the bottom for both pieces. You really want your pieces to be uniform, so following that little bit of a rule will definitely help you with that. Now, after putting all of our detail on here, I'm just gonna bend this towards ourselves. There we go. And same thing with the other side. Awesome, very nice. Now we can attach our walls, which we haven't formed yet. I did build this a little bit out of order. I do that every once in a while when I feel like there's pieces that might go better the other way. This might be a little bit more trickier than I was originally expecting, especially because I'm seeing how this all folds out. You have to have that spacing pretty much exact. So what I might do is get the tab in on the back first and then put the insertion in. All right, now we're gonna attach these pieces on, which can definitely be a little tricky. Tricky, tricky.
cool. All right, there's that detail on that side, detail on this side, all looking pretty good. Now we need to do the detail along the front, which is very similar to what we have already done here. We got to attach all this little blue detail along the top, bend the doors in, and then form these little pillars. Now these pillars we haven't done before, so let's do that now. I'm going to use my mandrel over here just in case you have them at home. Okay, now that we form both of our pillars, we can attach all of our detail onto part 42. Now this is going to be the same as we did before on the front here, so I'm going to go ahead and just speed through this too. Last two little tabbies here, secure and secure. All right, those look really, really nice. Although these little pillars here are a bit of a pain in the butt. They're not secured, but only by those two little tabs at the top there. And the bottom is really wiggly. I hope that when everything comes together, they won't move too much. Let's open these doors a little bit. There we go. Now the doors have some depth of field. We need to bend this top here, going as deep as we can. Bending it up. There we go. Cool. It's actually a pretty even bend. Look at that. Very nice. All right, now we're gonna put everything together here. But before we do that, we gotta add the bottom detail here, which is these guys. I'm gonna bend the long piece first, and then I'm gonna bend the smaller piece. Like a glove. Very awesome. I love it when pieces come together so easily. Now let's secure all of these pieces with a nice tight twist, being very careful not to break the tabs. You know, I thought this was a straight 90 bend. It's not. You have to actually bend it slightly up. So one thing I've noticed, one mistake I've noticed I've made is that when it comes to part 44 and part 45, you want to bend them at an angle. You don't want to bend them straight 90. I should have realized that from how the metal was formed there, but that's okay. We're good. Push and secure. There we go. Alrighty, now that we got this all built, we need to install it down here. And there we go. We're looking really sharp here, if you ask me. Now we just need to attach this to the lower base. There we go. Looking pretty awesome if you ask me. Now we need more parts. And now we have all of our pieces for the next few steps. Now, the first couple of things we were doing was these staircases up here, which we've done a few times already, so we don't really need to see that. So we're gonna go ahead and form our next piece here, which involves just forming a couple of pieces 90 degrees. Now that we got the majority of this form, we're gonna go ahead and start adding these pieces on to our palace. Okay, that looks really good. Now we just need to add the roofs on either side. All right, looking pretty good. Now we're gonna move on to our lanterns, if you will, which is a little bit more difficult than any of the other detail that we've built so far, especially with this build. 
Now what we're going to do with all of these petals is we're going to match them to one another, starting at the beginning here. So find one petal that you like, let's say this one right here, and we're just going to start bending it. And we're going to go to each fold line and bend it once. There we go. Now we're going to match that one by following all of the petals. Now at first, you might not get exactly what you want. Don't worry though, we're going to go back and we're going to manipulate this piece a little bit more and that should get us the shape we want. But again, it's really key to bend every single fold line when it comes to these pieces. I'll show you why in a moment. Excellent. Okay, so now that we got this ball kind of coming into formation, we can start squeezing it together. And because we've bent every one of those fold lines, you'll find it bending very evenly. Now, if you do have one pedal, say, step out of line, you can grab it and push it back into line. Some of these pedals do have tabs, which those ones kind of come to the top a little bit more, and you may have to use a different set of tweezers to help you with this. Okay, so once you get to this stage right here where you have a nice ball and you have little to no gaps, you're ready to move on to your next forming. Now we're gonna go ahead and attach it to one of these pieces here, and then after we attach it to one of these side little cylinders, we're gonna form this cylinder. Okay, there we go. We have our little bit of decoration all attached here. Now we're gonna use our forming tools to help us get the right shape that we need. And I'm gonna use a little bit bigger of a piece this time to do that. This guy right here. And let's try to get that piece. There we go. Now once we get that shape right there, we can go ahead and we can connect everything together. But we wanna be very careful with this formation because we want it to be very nice and even. And now push these guys in here. We're gonna cap her. Boom! Our first little bit of detail. Now we will have to work this out to even it out a little bit, but that's what this finishing touches are all for. That looks really nice. Now we gotta build 10 of these guys, 10 full of these ones. So let's get started on that. There we go, all of our detail attached. Now with all this done, I think it's time to work on the roof. Let's get some more pieces. And we have our pieces for our next few steps. Now we're on to step 43, and this requires us to build a square out of these pieces right here. Very similar to what we did earlier. So we're gonna have to bend all of these tabs down. And there we go. Our last little tab there. Now we have a rectangle complete. We need to put all this detail into place. And there we go, excellent. Now we have our perfect little rectangle here. I think it's time to move on to this really interesting and crazy amount of detail down here for the roof. Now, if I'm not mistaken, each one of these pieces is gonna go into these little holes here, which is quite a lot of repetitious detail. Well, let's get started. Now, one thing to keep in mind about part 66 is that one half, if I can get to adjust, there we go, one half is pointed while the other half is rounded. Now, the rounded half goes on the bottom, so keep that in mind as we put all this detail on. Okay, now with all of our detail complete, we can go ahead and start putting it together, which this might be a little bit tricky.
okay, we're looking pretty good. I like how we're coming out here. I still have to bend a lot of my detail out and I know that. And I also need to fill out all of my edges. Of course, unless it's going to affect our building. With that complete, let's go on over to this little part here, which is our last little bit of detail left before we move on to our next few pieces. Tightening my gloves up there. There we go, all nice and formed up. Now we need to put this on to our roof area here. And there's the holes. Took me a moment to find them, but we found them. Look at that, awesome. This building is really coming along. Now we need to build the last part, which is our main roof area. I think we have a lot more of these in store for us. Let's get our parts. And finally, all of our pieces have been cut out for the Hall of Supreme Harmony. Now, just like before, we're gonna be inserting all of these pieces here into the respected spot. But it's very important to remember that there's a curved and a pointed spot just like this. And we're gonna put all of our curved edges down. Again, pointed up, curved down. Okay, let's get doing this. Now it's a matter of just connecting all of these together. But like I said before, it's kind of hard to know where to bend these things. So I think there's gonna be a lot of reshaping in this phase. Last tab here, boom. Okay, now with this complete, we can go ahead and try to put it onto here. This should be very interesting. I expect this to be quite difficult, but we shall see. Oh, we got one. Yeah, two, there we go. So good. All right, do a twist. Oh, wow. Groovers, just take a minute to look at that. It looks so nice. Love this. Now we're gonna connect this onto the base. Yeah, we're not out of the woods yet, Groovers. Not out of the woods yet. Let's slightly bend these tabs. Also make sure there's tabs on either side there, so you keep those in mind. Okay, now making sure that this little piece here is in the front. We're gonna slowly lower it down. play the game we play the game okay I think this right here is our last tab there we go we did it look at this groove builders the hall of supreme harmony it's absolutely massive all right let's get back out we did it groove builders we built the Hall of Supreme Harmony from Peace Cool. And I have to admit, this build was a lot of fun to do, even with all of its repetitious detail. If you're looking to build this at home, there are a few things you're gonna wanna know. Let's talk about those things in construction. My first point when it comes to building the Hall of Supreme Harmony from Peace Cool is to make sure that you group builders at home have the proper tools before trying to assemble it. You're definitely going to need some mandrills, some detailed tweezers, and of course, needle nose pliers before attempting to build it. There's just so much small and unique detailing with this build that if you don't have these tools, well, it's gonna be very difficult. For my second point, I wanna talk about all of this color that you see here. It really does look nice, but it's actually extremely easy to scratch. 
especially around all of these pillars here. If you do find yourself scratching some of the parts, don't panic too much. You can use a Sharpie to color it in a little bit, but the best thing to do is to take your time while forming your pieces. No scratch to begin with is the best way to go. For my third and final point, I wanna talk about these rooftops. I don't know what it is, Groove Builders, but I always have a hard time getting the proper shaping. Even with this one here, I ended up getting two hot spots here and here, trying to get the proper shape. I really do recommend following the seams of the rooftop, and I feel like if I would have done that a little bit better, I would have avoided getting these hot spots here. So Groove Builders, when forming your roof, definitely take your time. You'll thank yourself in the end. And with that being said, Groove Builders, let's move on to build time. The Hall of Supreme Harmony from Peace Cool took me just over six hours to build, with the majority of that time being spent on the lower level detail and of course the rooftop. Remember Groove Builders, it's never a race to get these things complete. Especially with this build here, you definitely don't want to rush it. I think if you do, you won't be very happy with what you have in the end. And finally Groove Builders, my thoughts. Hmm. So, what do I think of the Hall of Supreme Harmony from Peace Cool? Well, Groove Builders, I actually really liked it. This build was a lot of fun, even with all of its repetitive detail. There are some challenging parts, like these little gold balls here, you're trying to get them all the same, which after you get through one or two of them, you kind of get into the groove of it, so it's not too hard. But some of the other pieces, like these little blue pieces on the side, can be a little bit challenging to get their tabs into spot if you don't have them exactly formed correctly. Can I recommend this build to new builders out there? Mm, not really. This is actually kind of challenging because of all the small bits of detail and it might really frustrate new builders out there. This is not a build that you can really rush either. If you find yourself getting frustrated, I really do recommend taking a step back from it. You don't want to mess this one up, especially because of how it looks in the end. All right, Groove Builders, that brings us to the end of our show. I had a really good time building the Hall of Supreme Harmony from Peace Cool with you. And if you guys had a good time, don't forget to press that like button. For more videos like this, hit subscribe as well as we got all kinds of really cool content coming out in the future. Until next time, Groove Builders, keep building. All right, now where can I put you on the desk? Nope, not in front of Stitch.